What's up, YouTube? Thanks for clicking on my video. Uh, in today's video, because of the pandemic, we're all stuck at home, hopefully learning to build our skills. So I'm going to show everybody how to make a uh, cool COVID-19 or something like this, you know, for uh, dimensions. Let's let's dive in. So obviously, uh, you 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 want to <coughs> yeah you want to open up Blender. So let's go open up Blender, and we're going to go through the steps. It's actually not too complicated. This is your start scene, okay? Step one, you're going to want to delete your default cube. Then you're going to want to add a cube. Okay. Now that we have our cube in our scene, we can begin to modify it. We're going to add a subdivision surface, and we're going to subdivide it a few times right here. Actually, I think two might be okay. All right, I'm going to click Apply, and now I'm going to add a new shape, and we're going to just make this a cone. I'm going to move it over a little bit. Move it up a little bit. I'm just going to kind of mess with this size, so I'm going to tab into Edit Mode. I'm going to select that point. G and Z it up, and then I want to select the bottom face. So I'm going to click three so I can select the faces, select this guy, S, and scale him down so he looks like that. All right, that's going to be our little spike. I know this doesn't make a lot of sense to you guys, but this is going to make a lot of sense in a little bit. I'm tabbing out, got this thing selected. I'm going to duplicate it and move it up. I'm going to rotate it on the x-axis 90 degrees, so we got it like that, and then I'm going to scale it down on the y-axis, wrong way, uh, undo that, I'm going to scale it down on the y-axis, make it a little lot flatter, just move over my scene a little bit, G and Y, And now I'm going to duplicate this guy again with Shift D, and then hit Y to move it on the Y axis. Rotate it on the X axis 180 degrees, and then move it over a little more. And we're going to need one more because this thing has a bunch of triangles on it, so we're going to rotate it on Z, negative 90, just like that. And then grab this guy, move him down on the Y, move him down on the X axis. I clicked the Z axis, G and X, to grab and move on the X axis. All right, I mean, you know, that's not too bad. That's something. Um, yeah, you know, it's you, you, I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this, but obviously if you take a look at the source material, it's got some sort of triangles in it of some kind, you know, little little triangles. That's basically what I did, so I'm just going to say that's good enough for the tutorial, and I'm going to select all of those and Command J to join them all as one object. And you can see over here in our panel, all those objects became one object. So that's going to be our thing. Now I'm going to click this guy, go over here to we need to do a particle instance, so we're actually going to come over here, click the plus icon, go to hair, and we're going to change this hair into hair shape, no, oh, alright, hang on. Okay, so this is what you're going to want to do, I figured it out, you're going to want to come down here over to render, and open up the render thing and change path to object. And now that path is an object, you're going to want to make sure you select it. I already had it selected for cube 3. And now we're just going to size it down a little. Zoom in on this guy. So we can see a little bit better about what we're doing.
All right. So as you can see, it's positioning itself upside down. So we're going to click on cube 3, and we're going to rotate it on the y-axis 180 degrees to flip it. And that should have done something. Let me go back over to here and change it from faces to verts. And why isn't this flipping correctly? Okay, so I figured it out. It was a bit of a mistake here. I had it set to the wrong thing. Um, you could probably get hair to work, but actually if you switch from hair to emitter and make sure that your end frame is set to the same frame as your start frame, uh, you know, you'll be cool. Make sure it's set to your vertices. Uh, that's checked on, that's checked off, come down here, object, all the same stuff, and do object rotation. And then when you rotate this guy, it rotates all the other guys, as you can see. And then it broke. What happened? All right, so we just got to rotate him back. Oh, and there we go. They're all fixed again. So we're just going to click on this guy, do Shade Smooth, go into Tab, select All, and then we're going to actually move these guys up a little bit. Yeah, and, uh, you know, that's, that's pretty much it. I guess, uh, you know, Probably like uh, add in something else here, like uh, another emitter to get like some little particles all over it. So end frame is one, and then we'll just adjust the scale. Actually, we'll do the the physics on the no the object here instead of halos. We'll do. A sphere so let's add in another sphere and then just move him off of the scene G and X and just get him out of there shade smooth come back over to this and scroll down change it to object and then select the sphere Adjust the scale down a little bit. And then the uh, count, let's increase the count because we need more of these. So let's way increase that number. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, look at that. So we're just going to export this to dimensions pretty much. We're going to need to export these out so that they are all objects. There is a way to do this. I've got too many tabs open. I feel like this is like the worst fucking thing I've ever recorded. How'd it go? Terrible. No? Really? So first off, I keep forgetting like where shit is. It's like so far away, it's hard for me to see it. It's like easier if I had my laptop, but my laptop's really shitty at recording. So it's like I can't do it on my laptop. The screen is so far, I can't see what I'm doing. And then these things keep orienting themselves wrong, like changing for no reason. So this whole thing is a fucking waste of time right now.